God bless each and every person who's seen this. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, today is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, so this is a word, you guys, that I got. Um, and I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read it in contact. So I'm gonna go um, above. And this is really going to, um, hopefully, uh, should, edify if you're a child of god uh, edify you and build you up and give you hope and remember that as we are going through these afflictions trials and tribulations remember this word may this word uh may, may you remember this word whenever we are going when the worst is happening right may we always remember this okay and it said this is uh micah 4 in Days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house will be established higher than all the other mountains. Towering above other hills, peoples will stream towards it. Many nations will go, saying, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob's God, that he may teach us his ways and we, will walk, and we may walk in his paths. For instruction issues from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between many peoples, the arbiter among great and distant nations. They will hammer their swords into mattocks and their spears into pruning knives. Nations will not take up sword against nation. They will never again be trained for war. So you know that this is um, a time, you guys, that hasn't happened. This is a, something that is going to be fulfilled in the days to come soon. Right, because they're not going to train for war any longer. Right, each man will sit under his own vine or his own fig tree with none to cause alarm. Oh, this is going to be an awesome day, the awesome time. The Lord of hosts himself has spoken. Other peoples may be loyal to their own deities, but our loyal will be forever to the Lord our God. See, other people's deities. Sometimes it's money, sometimes it's our job, sometimes it's fear. It can be many different things, right? But we, our mind, our thought, right? What our thinking is throughout the day is pleasing the Lord, doing his will, seeking him, living holy, right? The, that's what the remnant thinks of. On that day, says the Lord, I shall gather those who are lost. I shall assemble the dispersed. And those I have afflicted, he's going to gather the dispersed, right? Because that's why we're all spread out all over the earth. And he's going to assemble those he has afflicted. So if you're going through trials, tribulations, pain, um, you know, like I'm going through many pains, you know, this is hopeful for me to know this, that, um, that I can, this can give me hope. And remember that as I'm going through these things, right, that I know as long as I endure, I will, I will, um, I will, you know, I will reap this, the blessings from this, the holy word of God and, and, and reap his holy word. I shall restore the lost as a remnant and turn the outcast into a mighty nation. Right. You know, like how the holy, the holy children of God, they're the what they call the, the lost sh black sheep of the family or the outcast. Right. It's for a reason, you guys. I'll turn the outcast into a mighty nation. The Lord will be their king on Mount Zion and forever from that time forward. Period. OK. And it says, and you watchtower of the flock, hill of Zion. The promises made to you will be fulfilled and your former sovereignty will come again, the dominion of Jerusalem. And that's talking about uh, one, one thing. Um, but as a whole, the other promise is for all people, all people of the Lord God, the holy remnant. So let this edify you. If you want to read it, it's Micah chapter 4, verses 1 through 8. God bless you all. I love you so much.